Best Buds family gathered around to have a sweet seat. Now I know some of you guys looked at that title and got pretty upset or pretty confused about what I'm saying because I know some people are gonna get pissed and say, Oh, Simon, you know what you're talking about. You make no sense. You're stupid. I knew you're just a freaky little kid that knows nothing. You have no experience and blah, blah, blah. Whatever your opinion is, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna argue against it. Fine, that's your opinion. But our opinion is in the first place. Like, everyone states their opinion, but no one really listens in the first place. We all just attack each other in the comment section and curse each other out. Like, that's how it is on YouTube nowadays. Like, no one's freaking civil, so there's no point of having an opinion necessarily. But basically, for those of you guys who don't know or who don't watch Omar Isov, he basically started doing Olympic lifting. People comment in this in on his video saying, Oh, this guy's doing CrossFit. Oh, you're a CrossFitter now, blah, blah, blah. First off, he's not doing CrossFit. He's doing Olympic lifting, which has been around for over 100 years, okay? Which has been around before CrossFit even existed, before the guy who invented CrossFit even existed. Even if he was doing CrossFit, how the heck can you even clown him if a lot of you guys, like 99% of you guys, can't even do what CrossFit athletes do? Now, I'm not trying to diss you guys, but I'm just trying to speak to those who actually mock CrossFit. Now, I know CrossFit is looked at as a joke because some of the exercises look ridiculous, like the kipping pull-ups, right? The, the the swinging like this and doing all that crazy stuff. Yeah, some of it is, is, is stupid. It looks weird. It looks weird. But the thing is, is a lot of the stuff that they do, a lot of us can't even do even if we want to. Like, CrossFit is not just those kipping pull-ups. There's so much more to CrossFit. And at first, I used to clown it a little bit until I actually looked into it myself. I'm like, you know what? This is actually freaking respectable and looks intense as heck, right? I know some of you guys know Rich Froning. He is, he inspired me to want to train harder. Trust me, like, the way he trains is ridiculous. Now, I know some people have their issues because, oh, a lot of people who do CrossFit get injured. Guys, you know most of the injuries, I don't care who, I don't care who wants to argue against this. Most of the injuries are coming from casuals who try CrossFit and do not perform well, obviously. But injuries are in every sport, even powerlifting. Just the other day I seen the video of a guy snap both of his, his legs up at the same time. It looked disgusting. It, it, well, not looked, but it sounded disgusting. You hear the pops, it was painful. And he was just trying to do a squat. My point is, is that there's injuries in every sport. There's injuries in every freaking sport. You're not gonna freaking attack every single sport because there's injuries. It happens. But the thing is, is I'm just like, okay, if you do one sport, if you're a bodybuilder, there's no point for you to attack other than saying, well, I look better than you. I look better than this body, this powerlifter. I look better than this calisthenics athlete. If you're in calisthenics, you don't brag and say, well, I can control my body in such a way and you can't even do this. Like, you can't even uh, do a handstand or you can't even do a planche. And if you're a powerlifter, you don't have to go around and say, well, I could deadlift 600 pounds. I could bench press 400 pounds. Like, you don't have to go around and brag to everybody. Because at the end of the day, if you're bragging to someone about what you can, what you can do, I can guarantee you that person does not give a damn about what you can, what you accomplished in your sport. You get my point? My thing is, is that the fitness community on YouTube is just freaking pathetic. It's pathetic because once they they have the nerve to attack everybody else who doesn't do what they do, but once they get put on blast, it's a problem. Oh, you think you know everything? Because it happened to me before. People will, people will attack my physique, saying I'm small. Mind you, strength over size. I am not training to become the biggest mofo in the gym. I try. I train so I could do stuff with my body. But people still attack me for it. People still attack me for my body, even though I'm pretty lean. And the funny thing is that some people will attack me. They're they could be big. Some of them are even smaller than me or look smaller than me. They don't even have a better physique than me, and they still attack me. I'm not trying to say that to brag. My point is that people attack, and I'm like. Yo, you don't even have anything to show for it. Don't come to me saying you have 17, 18 inch biceps when you're like 15% body fat because three, three of those inches is probably fat, okay? So my thing is, is like, if we're all doing something, there's no point of hating on each other. I am not going to attack a bodybuilder for what he does. Even though I say strength over size, I watch Chris Jones, I watch bodybuilders all the time. They're entertaining to me. I like them, I respect them, right? I watch powerlifters like Omar Isaf and whatnot. I watch, I watch different types of videos because I'm a fan of fitness. I'm a fan of having people become strong, like the strongest versions of themselves, right? Ellie House is a big freaking uh, inspiration for me, uh, for those of you guys who don't know. But my point is, is that, yo, we're all just trying to make gains in what we're trying to do, right? Not every, not everybody cares to deadlift 700 pounds. Not everybody cares to be able to do handstands. Not everybody cares to do CrossFit. And not everybody cares to look the best. You get my point? So basically, at the end of all of this, there's no point of trying to outline the pros and cons of each 
of each sport. I know people want to say, oh, well, CrossFit is this, CrossFit is that. Well, you know what? If you don't do CrossFit, who cares? Go do your own thing. But if you see someone like Omar Isov trying to do Olympic lifting, don't try to clown him because he, he looks like he's doing CrossFit. Even if he was, why are you clowning him? What the hell can you do? You're in, you're in the comment section watching him, right? He's not minding you. He's making his gains, and you're just sitting on your ass commenting, commenting on his videos, saying, oh, you're doing CrossFit and whatnot. Like, shut up, man. Shut up. For, for those of you guys who are positive and like to uplift each other, like, yo, shout out to you guys, man. You guys, like, this ain't even for you. This is for those who just like to hate on people for no freaking reason. It's ridiculous, man. Like, we have to stop this crap. Definitely when you, a lot of you guys claim you're grown-ass men. Like, how the hell you can claim you're a grown-ass man, but yet you're on the internet complaining about what another person is doing in the gym? Does that make any freaking sense? Anyway, I'm done. I'm just rambling on, ranting. But I just wanted you guys to speak on it down below. Don't try to attack me for this. Okay, if you don't agree with me, you don't have to attack me. Just like debate or just have a discussion. I won't attack you back. And guys, just to let you guys know, if I don't type LOLs and stuff, or I'm not, you know, I sound serious, don't worry. I'm not like attacking you guys or anything. I'm not mad. I feel like some people think I get upset when you guys go against my opinion. Like some people may go against my opinion, right? And then they think I get upset over it because I'm not like playing haha or LOL, right? Because I'm, I'm typically a happy guy, but like, when I'm having a debate, I'll, I'll speak to you seriously, like man to man. We don't have to get all freaking upset and curse each other out. But yeah, like the video, of course, follow me on Instagram and start this Instagram Q&A, which I'll probably start in June now. I'm not going to wait till a 1,000 followers, but I'll start like in June, July. And yeah, so I'll talk to you all next time. Done.